Hello and welcome to Resident Evil Village. I might regret this decision so bad. I am not um, I'm not good with uh, with horror games. So this this might be a huge mistake, but we'll see. I, uh, I got some really good vibes from checking out some of the trailers for this um, this game, though, so I, I kind of um, caved in. So I've never played um, any Resident Evil since the second one, I think. So there's a tip here that we should be uh, looking at the Remembering Resident Evil 7. So we'll do that. Okay. Where to start? My name? It's Ethan. Ethan Winters. It's been three years since everything happened at the Baker House. I was looking for my wife, who disappeared. I got an email from her. She told me to come get her. And of course, that's how I ended up in the middle of nowhere, Louisiana. I found Mia being held captive in a dark basement. She wasn't thinking right. She attacked me like some kind of wild animal. Later on, I found out that she was infected by a special kind of mold. I looked all over the house trying to find an antidote, a vaccine, anything. People who lived there were already infected. What was left of them wasn't human. The source of the infection was a bioweapon that looked like a little girl. Her name was Evelyn. I fought the fucked up family and was able to treat Mia's symptoms with a serum. Then Chris Redfield and his soldier buddy showed up and saved the both of us. D is that enough? I, I really don't want to talk about what happened anymore. It's all over now. <clears throat> okay, dude. So she got infected by a special kind of mold. So I've already obviously been into the game because I had a sneaking suspicion that, um, that like mouse sensitivity in this game is not great and um, it's it's not great. So hopefully we can uh, deal with that. Let's get into it. Village of Shadows. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared and with a clip of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared, 
and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. Kind of yikes story to tell your kid. Story. She's yeah. only six months old. What's with the fucking creepy Remember story, the store dude? said it was traditional. A local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it. Thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Okay, then, dude. Go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. That's a very fucked up story, dude. <sighs> it's okay, Rose. You're Already gr remember. getting creeped out by this I fucking shit. Her. And I mean, like the tutorial. Did you say something? Nope. Nothing. I'll put her down. So where do I go with this child? <coughs> yeah, yeah. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Clearly. This is not the right room. Almost there, honey. Is this the right room? There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Okay, dude. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, uh, well, like a baby. Hmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, Mister. It's chorba de lagum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, <clears throat> haven't you? <clears throat> local wine too. That looks like a foot. But if you're gonna in keep there. sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <sighs> you really have to stop worrying. <sighs> it's just. Finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <laughs> Mia, get down! Mia! 
Oh, God. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? Go on, move! All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Yeah, completely normal. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the that was Doc. Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I, I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just won't. Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something, something you're not telling, you're telling me? me? Come on, talk, talk to, to me. me. Damn, it. Damn it. I have to, I have take, to take this. this. Okay, dude. Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not off the Fuck. Well, this starts out not great. What the hell happened here? Okay. So first... We're gonna check out this file. Main mission objective, eliminate target, recover body. Secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters. Move the two Winters to the site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers to accompany them. Okay. This flashlight is fucking useless, by the way. Um, I look in here, maybe. Who? Um, uh, controls. Keybinds. Use recovery item is at control. Why why would I want that to be on control exactly? Hmm. 
I'm going to swap these around. Whoever designed this control scheme does not play any PC games, obviously. Whatever. Um, we have a map. We have a journal. Um, we have the mission briefing. Um, let me go back there, please. The journal, read Ethan's diary of events and information that you gather throughout the story, turn pages with AD, change file categories with SD. Okay, so I can just go this and read a bunch of stuff. February 9th, dawn, some forest. That's an accurate fucking description. It should have been a night like any other, but then Chris Redfield came in and destroyed our family. He took Rose away, shot Mia right in front of me. I was knocked out and now I'm in some forest in the middle of nowhere. What the hell is going on? That, my friend, is a very good question. Okay. I already really, really don't like this. Okay, dude. Yeah, I did crouch. Mm, great. You know, cut himself on some random piece of wire in the middle of nowhere. I already so regret fucking getting this game. I don't see shit. There is all these weird fucking sounds. Not my favorite. Holy fucking shit, dude. I mean, clearly, let's... Why wouldn't we go into the house with the blood in it? So there was nothing there? I mean, why don't you wash your hands in that, dude? Clearly somewhere we want to go. Yeah, let's go down to the, let's go down into the basement of the house in the middle of nowhere where there's a blood trail leading into the house. Surely this is a great idea. Surely this is a great idea with the fucking worst flashlight in the history of the universe. Uh... 
Um, okay, so how, how do we do this thing? Adjust position. How can I rotate it, dude? There we go. What the fuck is that? I mean, there's nothing bad in the closet, right? <sighs> Why am I doing this? I'm questioning all my life choices right now. dude no idea what that was I mean it's nothing good so let's go back upstairs Question, dude. That, my friend, is a very good question. Okay, what's well, that climbing over? <laughs> okay, dude. Okay, okay, okay. At least I don't need the freaking flashlight um can i check what keybind we have the flashlight on um <clears throat> does it he just turns it on So we're still kind of in the middle of fucking nowhere, dude. Where the hell am I? That's a good question. Something not great is going to happen very soon. Okay. Clearly normal. Dead fucking horse here. I, I mean, I don't really want to go into this house, but... Um, really really don't want to go into that house in the creepy village it's actually someone has a fire in here maybe maybe they're out Surely they are. <sighs> oh, 
Oh. This reminds me of like some American super redneck village that you don't ever want to go to because everyone is fucking mega inbred. Needs another item. And there is something in here. I, th I think red means that there is an item that we haven't found yet, right? Am I doing that wrong? I might be doing that wrong, though. We might need to return here later. Do not enter. Yeah, I can see that it says do not enter. That is actually... Um, that is just not... There, that's a well. Um, what about this place? Clearly. So there's something in here too. I bet it's that, but I, I can't reach that now. So I guess we continue. I just save a nope out of this game already or I don't know can it blow up my PC and I think this was back to the other part right oh this is apparently running still what happened? That's a very good question. I want to check out this other place first. You like... There might be loot here. I just can't open that, whatever that is. Nothing there. Okay. Yeah, that's that is a good question. So there is no loot there. Um, but there was a thing here. I wish can I I cannot mark it on the map, I guess. I'll have to um, possibly remember it for later. That said, I'm not sure that I would want to. I really am not sure that I would want to. Locked due to missing home owner. Okay. It's a reasonable... Um... Reasonable reason. There's nothing in the outhouse, I think. Yeah. 
I mean... Some force could break it. So we got a knife. <coughs> That's um... We got some first aid med as well. Um... Oh, hand, we can craft handgun ammo by using gunpowder and rusted scrap. Um, we've got a family photo. Um, we got no treasure. But we did get a knife. Some objects can be broken. There's obviously going to be a monster, like here did somewhere. Did they just run out of the house? I, I don't want to open here. No, no, Ooh. friendly, friendly. Fucking Who shit, are you? dude. Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down on the road. And... What's going on? Oh no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Take it! Take it! Great. What the? Shit! Dead body? Wait, there's more. There were more. Jesus Christ. No, I I don't think he has what anything to do with that. This place? It's a good question. Huh. That thing is moving. I think that is a bullet to the head moving. Yeah. What the fuck was that? That is a very good question. But it bit off two of your fingers, dude. Shoot it in the head. Very calmly shoot it in the head. Nope. Buck back. So that took what like fucking ten bullets, dude. Great. The fuck, dude? Everyone seems to be cooking in pots. I don't think that's a good idea. Or a good sign. Let's 
It's an herb. Um, we get chem fluid. We can craft first aid med. Um, somehow my health is is kind of full still. Um, also there's chem fluid. So I can now craft one of these. Okay, so I crafted that. Oh, interesting. Um, no, let's go out there again. Um, yeah, so we can break objects. We have inventory on top, reload on R, guard on space. Crouch on control. Um, aim attack. We already did that. Um, the rest of the stuff we've already covered. Um, so this house is already looted. Right? We came into the house this way. I feel like we could shoot that, probably. Oh, okay, bolt cutters. We, uh... Okay, so that was the item in the house, okay. We can now go here. We can now go here. That's a body in the doorway. I mean, why wouldn't we want to go in there? Apparently we can't go under the tree. Because that, that's too complicated to climb over. Well, look at the state of that fucking hand, dude. Yeah, now it got dragged in as well. Great. I have eight bullets. I know there's one of those fuckers up there, right? No. Apparently not. We've got some chem fluid. And I just shot that one bullet by complete pure fucking reflex, dude. I mean, I'm I'm locked in here as well, am I not? Are you gonna enter through the roof? It's Damn it. Yeah, that's not a great idea. Am I gonna die in here? Can't get up there. Holy fuck! 
fucking shit, dude. Okay. I feel like I want to climb. Okay, that was not a good idea. Ow. Okay. Let's let's not do that. Okay, dude. Um. Yeah, that was a mega bad idea. Trying to uh, cut them with the knife. <laughs> not a good idea. No idea if it's over. It probably is not. That was a mega. If there are any survivors out there, come to my... to Louisa's house near the fields. Survivors? Yeah, that sounds like a trap. That sounds like a trap, my dude. Near the fields. I have no idea where that is. Come on. Sure, grabbing the wood with your bitten hand is a good idea. So we came from here, right? This house is completely looted. Oh wow, they are sitting up there. Not a big fan. Where the frick is the field? Is it up here? I mean, it probably is, right? I'm gonna see. Do you think they'll attack me? Super not in the mood for this. Survive the attack. Okay. Okay, dude. Super not in the mood for this, guys. Also, not ser that much in the mood to fucking use my ammo on this shit. There's no end to them. Yeah, 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 I know. the hell is going on now? Now we've got some arrows coming in. Am I supposed to shoot them or what? this 
Can I go into the house, maybe? They came in through the window as well. Okay. Hello, son. It's not the only barrel that we have. survive this shit. I don't think his teeth smell very nice. So I just wasted a bunch of fucking handgun ammo because I'm an idiot. Glad you found some bandages. We now have four bullets left. Because I'm an idiot. In life and in death, we give glory. Mm -hmm. Uh, hello? You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? Uh, it's you, the child's father. Child? Hey, wait, do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose, yes. She is in great danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? Bell heralds danger. They're coming. <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again. <laughs> Rose is here? <clears throat> she just locked the fucking door on us. Great. Really, really great. The 
frick is this shrine? We offer these goats of warding to protect the village and its people. Any who break them shall feel Mother Miranda's wrath. What? Am I supposed to break them? I don't like this place very much. Um, journal. Does it say anything about the thing? Key items, blah blah, materials, breakable objects. Um, no. The goats of warding. Okay. Early morning, village square, February 9th. I found a village just outside of the forest, uh, but one of the villages was attacked and dragged off by some kind of beast. I managed to survive those creatures and an old woman told me Rose is here somewhere. I need to find her before those monsters get her too. I mean, sure. That would not be completely unreasonable uh, assumption. Okay, another very, very creepy house. It's great. Oh, great lichens, the fabled monster wolves of old. Make they come uh, to eat our flesh. May they come to tear us apart. Okay. That's a werewolf thing, then. Easy to pick lock. I don't... I, I'm not able to pick locks right now. Is this a werewolf curse? Is, is that it? So some kind of well thing again. No, I mean, I don't really want to go to the, the cellar. We got some rusted scrap. Um, I, I don't think we can get in there. Um, so up here, maybe? Is is that a thing? The small church? I mean, what, what bad thing could happen in a church here? So, something, something. Need some Guess round things to open the castle <laughs> gate. An herb. Clearly. I mean, do I even want to go into this freaking church? I'm I'm pressing X. Here, I'm I'm really pressing X, dude. Don't think we can go in here either. That seems like some kind of marking, like a a monkey with uh, glasses, maybe. There's another well that I have no idea about. Maiden Crest. Let's see. Should disaster fall upon the village, seek out the crests. One is in care of the church. The other is at Luisa's house. That was the girl who wanted people to come to her for um, for protection, right? She was like, oh, survivors, blah, blah, come here, blah, okay. blah. Oh, there's a save point. Finally a save point. Jesus freaking Christ. 
Yes. So we have a shotgun, we have a handgun, we have a knife, and we have a save. We finally have a save. Also, there's something more in here that I haven't checked out. I can't see. There's a typewriter. I wish that this game was a little bit brighter. Is there something I can break? Face, maybe? No? What about this? Anything in the... Oh, there's a thing there. Can I shoot it? Okay, a crystal fragment. View treasure in the inventory. Treasure, crystal fragment. White mineral found in the region could probably sell it. Okay. Uh, kind, kinda interesting, I guess. We have some of this. So we could craft some handgun ammo. Um... Interesting. So we can have some power increases, rate of fire increase, reload speed, speed ammo capacity. I mean, the only thing that would be interesting out of those would be the power. <laughs> uh, not gonna lie. Then it looks like we can mod it with two slots. Gonna save again. So this is gonna be the um, the end of this episode. Um, I have had. Uh, I've had enough of this game for now. Um, it's been pretty good so far. Um, again, it's a little bit of a challenge for me, this kind of game. Um, definitely is a little bit of a challenge for me. Also, this is very unintuitive. Oh, but it's fine. Well, that's a well, that's a lock. Also, I can aim this thing to see what they are. That's an iron insignia key. So that's the same iron insignia key that's up here, actually. It's really interesting, right? Um, That's fine. Cool. So, um... Until next time, have a really good day.